I don't feel the pain anymore in the last 5Ks. I've been really tired and I'm like, oh, my legs are so, so bad. I think I'm not going to survive this race. And then when I'm there and the final is coming, I don't feel the legs anymore. <laughs> but I'm just going and going. For Lotta Lepisto, finding her sprinting legs at exactly the right moment is getting easier and easier. Now aged 27, the Finn's hitting her prime and proving herself as one of the best finishers in the peloton. I think I'm as fast as I was five years ago, but uh, five years ago my, my endurance level was much lower than now. Then you have to need to have the eye, of course, read the moments, because it's really hectic and you just have to have the instinct to go in the moment and take risks sometimes, of course. Since joining the team in 2014, Lepisto's career development has been a picture of consistent improvement. And for this season, she's been rewarded with a team to help her vie for top placing more often. Lotta is with us for four years now. This year, first time we have actually uh, a group for Lotta. Uh, which can support her for lead out like like Lisa Klein, like Christina Pechtold. All those riders are, are for her available. That was not the case last year. And of course, she needed much, much more guidance how to launch a sprint. That was actually her problem. She was super fast since two years, but to make it to the point, that was her problem. And I think that we did a good, good progress to teach her, to show her how to launch the sprint to the point to be the winner of the race. Well, I think we're a pretty good, good group of girls and I think everybody worked hard in the winter and already in the first training camp when we had in Girona, I was really, really impressed how the girls were doing and I was really amazed <laughs> by the performing and, and I think everybody took a step from last year and I think that's one of the reasons why why we've been doing pretty good this year. With the race know-how of Ashley mulman Passio and the raw talents of UCI youth jersey holder Cecilia Ludwig, Cervelo Bigler are becoming a top force in the UCI Women's World Tour. But for the Finnish national champion, gaining a greater familiarity with her team has been just as important as this blend of youth and experience. Of course it comes from the training and because yeah, we are so many days in a year together and you're starting to know the back wheel and the bum in front of you really well. And and also everybody knows each other, how they are working in the in the race. Like I think you can't really do it just by yourself. You need someone who is helping you there. And at this year's Gent Vevelgem, the team proved their ability, setting up Lepisto to challenge for arguably the biggest victory of her career. It was my big target in the spring, like I was talking about it with my coach already earlier. We had four plus me in the end, in the, in the final 50k, so that was already impressive. Stephanie was with us until the, the last Kemmelberg and she did a super amazing job there. And afterwards there was, like Mari was <laughs> attacking in the side winds and this little Murray who is a climber with climber legs and she's attacking there. Yeah, Thomas told us, told in the radio that she should do that. And she did it really, really well. And I was, wow, that's so impressive. And Lisa also, there she was working so super hard. She was going really deep. She had some cramps also <laughs> in the final 20 Ks, but still. She was there and also there was a little breakaway going in the last kilometers and Sile and Lisa and Ashley was there to help me that it didn't go until the finish. I knew I won like in the finish line. I was like, yeah, yeah I won. But then Jolene was asking me like, so who won? I was like, um, I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> like, well, was it? tight or what? <laughs> and yeah, in the end, yeah, it was really tight, but I wasn't sure I won, but <laughs> I guess I was coming with a little more speed in the, over the finish line, so for me it looked like I won, but then it took some minutes. I was happy about also the second place, but of course, win is a win, and of course it was really <laughs> overwhelming.